Hello. <laughs> I hope this thing's working. That's, that's kind of what I always say. Cause I hope it's working. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Let me go to the chat board. Um, how are you guys doing on this fine, this fine Sunday night? Um, hit me with some uh, comments. Make sure it's uh, it's all working. I wonder if anyone is in Twitch land. I'm streaming to Twitch as well, so it's a world I do not know yet. <laughs> if you're watching from Twitch, hey, <laughs> do some of that Twitch stuff that's good to get the word out that I'm doing this thing. <laughs> what instrument first? Doing great. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? So you can hear it okay. Folky James, Twitch, right on. <laughs> what is that stuff you do on Twitch? Like you somehow share it with your Twitch friends and stuff. Do that, because um, I need a little bit of kick in the butt over on Twitch land. Uh, how about guitar first? I'm kind of feeling like playing the guitar. Got myself a little beverage. Ah. <sighs> I've been off the road for a minute, so uh, it's nice to have a reason to play some tunes. Hi, David. In Facebook, your voice is ahead of the visuals. You know, I've got a problem tonight. I, uh, I lost my little adapter that would have hardwired me into my router. So I'm having to do the, uh, hopefully, <laughs> supposedly, high fidelity Wi-Fi thingy that I hooked up, but I don't think it's a, it might be a little draggy, so I apologize about that. Yeah, it might take a minute to sync up. Sometimes it's not gonna be in sync. Sometimes it will be, so I really apologize. I usually have my shit together with this, but <laughs> I say that tongue in cheek, of course. thing is that you can hear it all right, okay? Sorry, I'll, I'll just cover my mouth when I talk so you can't tell that it's uh, dragging behind. request so if you got some hit me up this first song is a request from uh, from from me I want to do it so. thanks dead Ed good to, to hear that it sounds okay in uh, YouTube land
I worked on the river where the white waters roar. My name I've engraved on the high rocky shore. The boy that stands half on the dark burly stream, but my thoughts are on Molly. She haunted my dream. I gave her fine jewels, fight us the place, and the costliest muslins were formed to embrace. Had to prep to love nothing I had on this earth. While I worked on the river, I earned quite a stay. I was steadfast and steady, and near played the rake. Over camp light and liver, I am very well known. Well, they call me Jack Haggerty, the pride of the town. For a few years, uh, I was thinking about something in the middle of that song. I learned uh, of the song from a radio show that I used to listen to uh, by my buddy Ray Edland, uh, at KPF Radio, KPFA Radio in Berkeley when I was living there for a minute. And I remember walking around the streets of Berkeley listening to him on my AM FM Walkman. I'll tell you how, how long ago that was because it was my Walkman. Um, and uh, and he was playing some Irish singer-songwriters that I had never heard of. And that was one of them. Uh, that song was uh, put together by this really amazing singer-songwriter from Ireland named uh, Mick Hanley. And I remember listening to the lyrics, and some of them I didn't know the words. So I, I was sitting in the back of the van. I remember getting the album, putting it on a tape, listening to it while I was on tour uh, as a backup musician for Lori Lewis. And I remember being in the back of the van, transcribing, writing down all the lyrics. And I'd get to some words like, what does that mean? Like, asunder. I didn't know that asunder was split in half. So was, that's a cool word. And I remember getting to the word. There was a line about, um, I, I, I gave her the finest of, uh, finest of, of muslins to embrace. I was like, what? Muslin? I thought I thought he said muslims and I was like, that's really weird. Um, but then I found out muslin, which is like a type of uh, textile or or something that you would make a dress out of, right? Some kind of like cotton linen kind of thing. Um, and that's my story. That's my Jack Haggerty story. <laughs> I learned I learned a few English words that I should have already known. So. Hey Colleen, good evening everyone. Nice to be able to sit down and listen to some music round out the weekend. Yes. 
Good to see Tina. Sounds good in Facebookville. You can maybe do Mudville. How does that go? Uh telling me you uh, rediscovered that song. Yeah, it's just not in my head <laughs> or in my hands. Hit me with something else though, Tina. I know one my mom requested, so uh, I, if, is Joy Furtado out there? You out there, mom? Moon shoes are Decembering. Hey, that would be nice. Okay, thank you for that. I know I have a request for another song from Decembering called Green Heart. There you are, Jim. I see you. Okay. Look at that. Let me do this one for my mom first. Um, hey, there you are, Mom. I'll do Amazing Grace into another song. Maybe some kind of bluesy thing.
I saw a request come in at the very last second there from Chris for Blind Willie Johnson. Good call there. <laughs> That's a, a, a tune. Let's see, I started with Amazing Grace and then I went right into one of my older sly guitar tunes that I call The Ghost of Blind Willie Johnson. Back in the, I don't know, mid 90s, I got really into Ry Cooter and uh, Blind Willie Johnson and I remember really working on some of those tunes and so I wrote that tune as a tribute to him. Um, it's always fun to do that. Thanks for reminding me of that one. That was good. Swayback Jim, that would be a fun one to try. <laughs> good. We'd be making it down to Florida anytime. Folky James, I was just down there. Sorry, I played the Suwannee Spring Reunion. Um, and I also played a retirement center or something. <laughs> it was a really great... 65 plus re uh, kind of residency place over in uh, I can't remember what it's called over there by Jacksonville um, did you already play the cello banjo nope I'm fixing to pick that one up right now um, definitely hit me up with the requests I like this it's great keep on hitting me up um, Chris, you say, yeah, the great one seen on Pandora. Yeah, you hear that one on Pandora? Good, great, I'm glad to hear that. Um, if you are watching from YouTube, one thing that would help me out is to click on the old subscribe button um, because then you will be informed when I'm doing this. In fact, most of you probably already are already, are already subscribed over there. And if you're on Twitch, tell some friends. And same thing for Facebook. Please let your friends know that this is happening. Just getting going right now. So let me make sure I'm doing it. Okay, good. And I really apologize if there's any kind of lagging happening right now where my mouth is moving, but the words come later. Um, I had a little bit of uh, trouble today with setting up the stream. I'm going to grab the cello banjo now. I have it in a specific tuning right now. Out of. It's the out of tuning. <laughs> Debbie, 65 plus, that old. Most of them were um, 80 plus, I think. It was a fun crowd to play today. Some nice conversations after the show. What's this say? Ramblin' Banjo, you say, hey man, I thought you'd like to know that you were my most listened to artist on Spotify in 2020 and I picked up the slide guitar, which is no small part thanks to you. Right on. I'd like to hear that. Maybe you want to get one of these now. Um, just saw that you were playing with Flinter's Band at Pagosa Springs. Yowza. Got a, yep. I found out that those guys were, um, were going to be on tour in Colorado and they're all past members of my band and so I decided to hire them to be my backup band for a whole tour so I'm really looking forward to seeing those guys again um okay here we go cello banjo this song is uh, this is called the low road not a happy song Thank you. 
crooked line Feeding from with the vines With the vines and their wasted fruit You don't know the you questions <laughs> dude I love that one this cello banjo they're pretty cool um, we jamming now okay I like that Sadie that's a big banjo yes it is it's called a cello banjo it's almost like a bass banjo a pretty girl in a coffee shop showed me your music <laughs> that's nice I like that Low Road, great song. Thanks, David. All right, let me go. Uh, where did I get that? This I got from a fan uh, who bought it to learn to, ch learn to play banjo on. It's not really what you learn to play banjo on. It's kind of a, it's kind of a behemoth. Look at the, how thick those strings are. Um, it's kind of crazy. I'm going to get the regular banjo now. tuning, I hope. <sighs> For a tune I wrote called Green Heart, it's on my, my uh, newest album called Decembering, in case you're curious. I haven't been talking about it much, but it's out there. It's called Decembering, and it's a, uh, it's my new banjo album. Thank you. 
tricky one. Um, it's very similar to a tune that I wrote, uh, I guess about 30 years ago that I called Tyson's Dream. Um, that one goes like this. tape on the end of your strings. Okay, I can tell you that. Um, see this wire right here? That's going to a pickup that is inside the bridge. And if I don't deaden this uh, during live shows, not this show, I could easily take that off and nothing would be wrong. But I have that on there just so I, I'll forget to put it back on. At live shows, this helps to deaden the, uh, the tailpiece. Otherwise, sometimes I get this weird feedback. Same thing with the cello banjo. Uh, it's just to control the feedback. How about back to the guitar? I think I have a couple in mind here. Any other questions? Hey, do you know Billy Strings? You know, um, I've never met him. One time I got a call. This is my only Billy Strings story, and it's very sad. Um, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, 8 years ago. I can't remember how long ago. Um... I was supposed to play in uh, the show in Fayetteville, uh, Arkansas. And I remember the promoter asked if I wanted to have an opener, and he had a couple potential openers for the show. And I'm sure you see where this is going. <laughs> and um, one of the acts was this duo. I can't remember the other gentleman's name, but I couldn't forget the name Billy Strings. And he was the other guy in that act. And I just didn't want to have any openers that night because I was just playing solo and um, it didn't make sense. It was like early in the week. I just wanted to do an evening with. So I turned down Billy Strings to open a show for me. <laughs> that's, there you go. That's, that's happened to me so many times. Stories like that. Yeah. Ah, cheers. <laughs> But I think he's great. You know, I'd love to meet him someday. Um, do I know Rolling and Tumbling? I do not. I'm going to do this other one that I saw Chris request called the False Hearted Lover's Blues, which uh, kind of a uh, Chris Eldridge. Yeah, I know Chris Eldridge. He's great. Um, boy. I am Prototype. You have tons of questions here. Let's see. December Rain. Nope. Georgia Buck. Nope. Cuckoo Bird. Nope. Pretty Song. Oh, thank you. That was a pretty song. Um, there's Chris. Was that acoustic that you used in... What was that acoustic that you used in the Bing Lounge? Martin. It's this one right here. I believe. Unless it's the uh, Resonator guitar. I know I played that on one of those. Okay, so this song is called The False Hearted Lover's Blues. And I have another song in mind to do next. It was a request from, uh, from Marty and Sharon. Pretty women have been my craze. Well, I'm sure my poor sorry lover is gonna send me to my lonesome grave. Ragged clothes, a dry. 
dropping from my body And a wolf's howling round my door And may the man who stole my darling girl Feel the bite of my forty-four False hearts have been my downfall A pretty woman has been my grace Well, I'm sure my false-hearted lover Is gonna send me to my lonesome grave chiming in here what is that tom petty tune you knock out of the park can't think of the name it's called running down a dream uh can you do false heart lever on the martin that was my next comment that's what this is <laughs> i think i'm behind on the comments peggy o or molly and tenbrooks thanks hey charlie um yeah maybe one of those okay i'm gonna grab this other guitar and do this other request that uh i know marty and sharon wanted to hear uh, it's a song I wrote a long time ago. Um... See if I can get through it. Um, on the album, which is the album's called Golden, that I do this song on, um, I have my buddy Paul Brainerd play the trumpet on it. I always miss that when I do this by myself. So. This one's called Angelina. words right here so <laughs> shouldn't forget the lyrics just want to make sure I can do the music right all right let's see what happens the 
hours gone And you're gone too I sit here alone Just staring at the light I should go home I should go home Hey, thank you. Ooh, I really love this one. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, did I miss any uh, requests way back in the when? Um, Folky James, thanks for uh, tuning in. I sure appreciate it. Uh, see that you're splitting from Twitch. You may, may be the only Twitcher out there. So... Um, <laughs> Oh, one thing I was going to mention, always take a second. Oh, it's already up there. In in case you feel so inclined, I got the uh, little tip box out there. It's the PayPal and the venue. Sorry to leave that on the screen. That's so annoying. I'm just now seeing that on my uh, software here. Uh, but I'll leave it on for at least another few minutes. Um, Let me grab the banjo, the guitar. I didn't see too many requests for the banjos. I'll do another cello one though. Cello banjo. Let me tune this back up. Firecracker. That'd be fun. Hey, do I have any uh, Coloradans out there in the... Uh, in the audience. I'm going to be out your way in June. From June 8th until the 11th. June 8th, it's it's me and my what I'm calling the uh, acoustic band. It's me with Matt Flinner on the mandolin, Ross Martin on the guitar, and Eric Torine on the bass. Uh, some old buddies. <laughs> Old buddy, we're all old. <laughs> um, we're 
going to be playing in Salida on the uh, 8th in Rifle at the Ute Theater on the 9th. And the 10th, we're in Denver at the Soil Dove. And then we finish up at the uh, Pagosa Springs Folk and Bluegrass Festival. <laughs> Let's see which one it is. That one. I'll let it stay down. Cello banjo, the thing sounds so good, man. Fits surprisingly well in fiddle circles, though tuning can be rough. Yes, as you just experienced. <laughs> um, 
what you did with Jake Jolliffe and Luke Price was pretty good. Yeah, we had fun. We did a, a live stream a while back. I guess it was definitely over a year ago. We did it from the backyard. And that was fun. Um, hey, Cindy Lou, tell your Ed Tom, good to see you guys. Um, coming down kind of your way pretty soon here. I don't know if you guys will be around. That's two requests, Tom, for Berta. Hmm. Let's see, what do I want to do next? Back to the old guitar. Would I spare you a few words of my right hand technique? I don't really have much to say. I wouldn't want to bore you too much. It uh, It is rooted in banjo playing, so I use these fingers right here quite a bit and there's a lot of just different patterns like uh, some some folks that maybe start in start off in guitar with a finger style thing get kind of locked in this thing you know but having grown up playing banjo I've got a lot of uh, you know I've got a lot of banjo licks in my hands and so Eventually, even though it's a different tuning, um, those licks worked into my right hand technique for playing guitar too. So it's kind of a big mix mess of Piedmont kind of country blues style guitar playing, sometimes emulating some of the some of the Delta blues stuff, but a mix of uh, bluegrass and old time banjo in there too. There's a few words on my right hand technique. Okay, I've got some requests going here. Um, the banjo is more natural to me, yes, but I sure love playing the guitar. Um, maybe I can combine a couple of these requests, a little firecracker and a little bit of uh, Berta. Firecracker is a tune that I wrote for an uh, um, independent flick um, that's called Wrestling with Iowa. And uh, it was fun to be asked to record the, write and record some tunes and for this particular flick. Um, it's a documentary about a couple of high school uh, wrestlers in Iowa and their trip, their path. Um, to, I guess, the state championships, maybe. And uh, I can't remember. But one of them, the uh, the filmmaker described to me as being like a firecracker. And so this is kind of his theme. And then I'll go from this. I'll do a little Berta. Just a little bit there. Go ahead and marry, don't you wait for me. I 
might not want you when I go free. I might not want you when I go free. Oh, I put a put up, oh, poor girl. Oh, I put a put up, oh, poor girl. Oh, I put a put up, oh, poor girl. Oh, I put a put up, oh, poor girl. Don't know the difference when the sun goes down. In fact, I remember I was living right by the Flatirons there in Boulder, and uh, I remember going for a a little hike with uh, this time it was my mini disc recorder, <laughs> one of those too, and I was listening to this um, compilation thing I put together of uh, of um, work songs, and one of them was uh, repeated by several different groups um and this it was called berta every time it was called berta or oh berta berta and um so i just grab grab the uh the verses that were fun to sing put it together and uh we kind of rocked it out back in the day it was a lot of fun get a lot of a lot of grooves happening so a lot of those dance crowds whenever I play in uh, Colorado, it's that was one that would get people running around. So it was good. <sighs> Any other requests, or should I just keep going the direction I want to? I kind of want to do a songy song. Um, my mom requested one of those. Anyone in particular, mom, if you're still out there?
go again I'm sifting through ashes of what you were And then I knew Strong as the earth with gentleman's curves They left like the wind disappears in the night No one to say, nothing to fight This song that was called Ashes of a Man. It's from my album that's called The Bell. Um, pretty easy to find. By the way, if you folks are interested in my last few albums, I've got them all up on bandcamp.com. Just do a little search for my name, and you'll find my last four albums up there. Um, and the last album that I put out, in fact, I'll do something. To finish up here uh, for, on my banjo, it's a banjo album called Decembering, and I've got the third installment of my banjo books only available digitally. And if you're interested in that, you have to remember the word pay hip. I wonder if I have a little visual for this. Payhip.com. That's where I sell my banjo books and my guitar book. And it's right there. Just go payhip.com, do a little search on my name. Um, don't see it in my stuff here, but that's all right. Just go check it out and you'll see. It's the uh, third installment of my banjo books, and it's like I said, it's only available there. So I'm going to finish up on the banjo. Um, yikes. <laughs> doing these maybe the next one I'll do with a special guest or two and I'll get the uh, get the tech better <laughs> sorry hopefully it's not too laggy between my voice and like when I mouth the words and then the words come out you know what I mean
Thanks, Smoking Jam Grass. You're amazing, Tony. Thanks so much, as always. For a second, I thought the word beacon was bacon. You're a true bacon of light, is what I thought it's. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Hey, David, sound and visuals are actually in sync. That's amazing. <laughs> it worked out then, good. Um, what else can I commercialize here? Uh, told you about my books, my new band, my new um, banjo album, and um, please do like where you can on these different platforms. I don't know what you do on Twitch, but do something. And then on YouTube, just subscribe, Facebook, just like it, become my friend. Will you be my friend? Um, shoes and something else. I'll just kind of see where my fingers take me. Claire, yeah, I can't wait, back, wait to get back to New Mexico. Hopefully later this year, but we'll see. It will happen.
Thanks so much, you guys. It's been fun picking some tunes. Sorry if I was a little rusty and the tech wasn't the best, but, um, you know, we do our best. And uh, chime in. Let me know what you thought. Let me know uh, what you want to hear next time. Uh, I might do one of these, one more of these before I head out on the road for my little four-day trip in uh, June. So I hope you're well. Take it easy and look forward to seeing you again.